Hey, what's going on, you guys? So, uh, in the comments, I seen a, um, a comment posted on YouTube that said that, um, he didn't know how to get, he or she didn't know how to get the file system right. So, I'm gonna show you that comment right now for my last video, how to get Blender on a Chromebook. Um, so, I'm not too sure, hold on. I'm not too sure. Well, I, I know how to do it. Okay, so I, I responded back, yes, sir, I'll just make a video about that, which I'm doing right now. Um, do you know how to import OBJ files in there? So I'm guessing what he means by that is how do you get files inside of Blender? Um, okay, so what you're going to want to do is uh, go into your Blender right here. So open up Blender again, and you're gonna click on the uh, hold on. You're gonna click on this little icon right here, the folder. Click on it. It's gonna open up this. Um, it's like a little plugins menu. It's called its own cloud storage. And once you're on here, you're just gonna click this Dropbox, and then you can name it whatever you want, like. Um, Blender stuff, it doesn't really matter, but, um, see, like, um, I already have mine, though, so, um, my Dropbox, I already have mine on there, so, okay, um, once you do this, you're just gonna click allow, and then there you go. See, it says, uh, mine says my Dropbox dash one because I already have one. So I'm just going to get rid of that one. Um, I also connected my Google Drive and you can also connect Box, OneDrive, Yandex, uh, and Web, WebDAV. Um, and let me show you a little example. So once you connect it, you can go to File open and once you open uh you click on the home and there you go my dropbox that's from the other one and then my google drive they're all right here and um to get the file system on your chromebook in your folder files like this like this here dropbox and that's my name if you're wondering um, if you want to get your name, not your name, uh, Dropbox on, on here, all you got to do is go to the Chrome Web Store, so go to Web Store, and, um, uh, type in Dropbox, and once you type that in, um, it's going to pop up with this, apps, go to file system for Dropbox, click on it, and then um, once you do this, you're just going to download it, and I already have it, so I press launch. You're going to mount it, and once you press mount, it's going to come up with a little menu saying uh, it needs your email and password. You're going to just put in your email and password. And then press sign in, and there you go. It's going to be in your file system. The next thing you know, you can also get Dropbox, this this one. Uh, once you get this one, it's going to go in here, just like the other one. Okay, so it's going to go in here, and you just got to look for it. Dropbox, Dropbox, right here. This is the one that you have to mount. This is the one that uh, the app that goes straight to their website. So for this one, you're going to have to sign in, just like the other one. But the other one is easier because you just have to go to files. But um, right here, you can go to downloads. I already have all my stuff in here from my folder system. So um, that's basically how you guys do it. Um, I just wanted to answer that guy's question because there was confusion going around about that. And uh, thanks for watching, you guys. Peace out.
Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and bye.